this is a demonstration on uh, using Civil 3D for setting up. Okay, let's uh, open the server drawing. So, area. Fine. Okay, so this is a survey. We're just going to insert a, a set of drawings. So I press I on the bar and then in return, search, browse to wherever your uh, set of drawing is. I have a schemata here of a drawing. Uh, I'll take all these if it's in the correct geographical um, area. Okay. Fine. Okay, so here's uh, the outline of the site and some foundations. Now, there's some things in the way, some trees and some uh, spot heights, etc. We'll open up pine groups and just turn these off. Now, one could make a, a, a turn these on or it could make a set out drawing. Anyway, so we're just uh, putting these to none. They haven't been got rid of. Now, you may have to turn on overrides uh, sometimes. So I'm, uh, you can see a tree in the top corner. Sorry, okay, it's gone now. Okay, we've got some spot heights. Let's just uh, tidy up the drawing a bit better. So spot height property, right click properties. Okay, Let's turn off the point style. None. Level none. Apply. And okay. Okay, fine. Um, okay, there's some contours there. We'll just uh, tidy up this. Okay, right click, surface properties, all off, uh, no display rather. Apply. And okay. Okay, so uh, uh, we've got some, uh, we've got the outline of the site, the pink line there, and the blue line for foundation. So I'm going to make some um, pine groups. So I'll make one here site. Now one could do these afterwards. I'm just going to go point number. Uh, include raw description site. Okay. Bye. And okay. Okay, the foundation's next. Uh, one will notice there's a square um, dot here. Um, uh, that means there's some data in there. If there's no square with a dot inside it, that means there's no data in there. It's meant to be at the minute. Okay, we'll make another one. Foundation. Now these could be done afterwards. One can create the points and then make the point groups. And tidy up yourself what way you do it. We don't have to make an essay here. Just FDN will do. Okay, apply. And okay. Okay, so that's point groups made. Let's make some points. Points. And miscellaneous. And manual. Now this dialog bo uh, box will come up. It's entirely inconsequential for manual points. Okay, down the command line saying uh, identify a point. Okay, so we click down one. Now it's saying a point description. Okay, sorry. Point groups are made. Uh, it's given a height there. That's uh, the height of the thing. Uh, let's just go for default height. So I hit return. You'll notice a little square. That's uh, a point now. Another point. So click on it. And then it'll site. And then we'll return. So if you're happy with these, just click on the point. Uh, and uh, hit return. Okay. So four points. So for small amount of points, manual is fine. So there we go. Now to get out, we just press escape. And OK. Now let's go over to our point group. You'll notice a little yellow warning sign there. That means there's some data in there. So let's update. Notice the square with the dot now. That means there's data in there. OK. Uh, you'll notice. Uh, there's the point numbers and the point style, etc. Okay, now this is a block, so I'll press X on the um, command bar, hit return, and hit your object. 
Just turn off that. Okay. I'll just click on these. Okay, these are indeed lines now. Okay. Right. Hit Control One and Line. See your. Um, I can see what my uh, um, layer style is. So I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to turn off my point groups. Site. So we'll turn these on in a moment. Off. None. And none. So you can see the point there. Right. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Uh, points. Now we're going to go automatic. So go to automatic. The dialog box will come up again. Now there's a number of uh, items here, like default layer, default style, point identity. They're of little consequence, so it's the only one we're worried about is point creation. So open up that. Uh, low coordinate squids, etc. They're all very fine. Point for elevation, set that to automatic. Uh, so we'll uh, prompt uh, for point names automatic, prompt for descriptions automatic. Okay, we're going to put in an elevation. Uh, 19 and a half meters. I'm going to say these foundations are. And uh, because it's automatic, it'll, um, it'll automate the process for all these. STN. Okay, so um, that's fine. So they're all automated, the point names and such like. Okay, don't select the points then afterwards, please. Go to the little dialog up here in the top. Uh, the one on the left, hit the the arrow, and then go hit automatic. Now go for it. Select the points, return, and you notice there's little crosses there now that suggest there's points in there. So again, just go to automatic and select your points. Okay, fine. Okay, so foundations uh, we'll just um, the pop is okay. We'll just update those now. So remember, just update your points. Uh, there'll be a little yellow cross inside the side. So they're fine. Excellent. So we will oh, um, turn these on again. Cross to the point number. Excellent. All right. Okay, we'll turn on the uh, uh, outline the site. It's fine. Okay. So uh, what we want to do now is export these points because we, uh, so uh, select your point groups. So I'm going to right click export points. Now there's number formats here. ENZD, comma delimited. Uh, so you can select any number you want. Okay. Fine, so just click in your little on this uh, little symbol here and uh, go to your driving directory, etc. I'm going to put in foundation. Open, okay, now I'm going to export site. So I'll right click export points, uh, go to driving directory site, open, okay. Now, um, if you're using G, um, GPS, you won't need to um, um, put out stations, but certainly if you're using a uh, total station, you will. So we'll output our stations here as well. Similar to before. Open. Okay. Now they are saved. So uh, just minimize this moment. Okay, so we'll just uh, just uh, click on your drawing directory. I'm, this is my one here. Uh, open that up. Uh, so just um, okay, there we go. So that's I've opened up site. Uh, now I'm going to open up uh, foundations. Foundations open. I'm going to select all these points. Uh, copy and paste. Fine, so site and foundation are in. Now I'm going to open up uh, stations. 
copy paste fine so there we go now we can uh, we can download this onto USB oh sorry we better give this a name set of points original name uh, we can download this onto USB and then we can um, upload onto the more modern port station GPS uh, with USB and uh, we'll be able to import our job ok so uh, the, then we, we better uh, print our drawing one could put these on to, um, onto the screen, but start to print out a drawing. Okay, let's uh, open up uh, Civil 3D again. Fine. Okay, so we better cut this drawing. So, you can go um, print, or you can put plot the command bar. Okay, I'm going to put these into uh, PDF mode. Uh, A4, you may be looking enough from the building site to have an A3 plotter. I'm just going to uh, select the window. Uh, go to uh, there we are. So in the center of the plot, getting the paper. Now one could put set the scale. But I'm just going to print this out. Okay, so that looks fine. So um, hit return and okay. And I select the file in the folder. Give it a name, another original name, set out drawing, I'm going to call it. Save. That's uh, drawing, and there's the PDF. So print that out, bring that out on site. Yeah, so there's all the points, etc. Okay, that's it, ready to go.